Hello, you welcome to Adora Zone. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please kindly press the red subscribe button so that you'll be notified each time I'm out. And if you're an existing subscriber, thank you very much for subscribing. Thank you very much for watching. And thank you very much for hanging there. Okay, today I'll be talking about five major ways you can save your money. Five major ways you can actually have something for that rainy days. Number one, get a business get a job start something sometimes i see people say oh i don't have money i'm broke i i I'm, i don't have anything in my account my account is red my account is this my account is dormant my account and i'm like i don't get it and sometimes when i look at these people i look at them and i see they have two hands they have two legs they're actually okay they're not handicapped they're not sick there's nothing wrong with them and you're complaining you don't have money who does that if you don't have money for Christ's sake get a job or start a business no matter how little get something doing get something doing you know I've come to understand that a lot of people are actually in the position they are in because of pride they feel so big to do certain things they feel so big to do certain jobs they feel like they have actually outgrown a particular kind of job so it's going to be demeaning for them to do it it's going to be demeaning for them to do such menial jobs and all that but that is the very very wrong notion if you do not have money if you don't have any savings at all if you if you're struggling financially you should be able to do anything as far as it is legitimate as long as it's legitimate it's it's legal you should do anything to put that food on your table. You should do anything to put a roof over your head. You have no reason whatsoever to complain. You have no reason whatsoever to remain in that state where you are. Okay, recently I saw a video about a girl and I was very much impressed because, you know, back then, back in the days when I was still in, when I, back, many years back when I was still in Nigeria, it's, 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 there, there used to be a particular pattern. You know, we were following then. It was just like you go to school, you get a degree, you come out and you get a job. It was just like that. There was no two ways about it. In fact, it was everybody's dream to just follow that route, go to school, come out and get a job. Even when there were no jobs, because sometimes you go to school and come out and there are no jobs out there. But that was how we were raised. That was how, you know, that was the formula everybody knew. And we all thought it's going to work out for everybody like that. You just follow that route. But now, when I see some young, you know, some youth on the internet, the kind of things they do to make money, I'm very, very much impressed. I saw this very pretty girl on Facebook some time ago. And she's a cleaner. She's actually a cleaner. And she was advertising her services. She goes from house to house to clean people's houses and offices and all that. And people were actually calling her for jobs. But you will see some people will sit back and say, oh my God, how can I clean somebody's house as fine as I am, as big as I am, as educated as I am, and all that. Guess what? This girl actually has two or three cleaners right now under her services that she's actually paying. They clean with her and she pays them because she cannot cover some of the, some of the many jobs that she's covering now. So why don't you start from somewhere? Drop that pride. Start from somewhere. Start something. If you do not want, but not, not everybody is even cut out for the nine to five jobs. Fine, I understand. If you do not want to do a nine to five job or you simply do not find such jobs, start a business, no matter how little. Start something. Sit down and think. There are a thousand and one opportunities, business opportunities or ideas you can actually come out with. And then you do it. People go into different things just to make money. People sell. If you don't, you know you have those unwanted items lying around your house that you're not using. Stop hoarding them. Stop packing your house to necessary stuff. Bring them out and sell off the stuff you do not want. You make a little money from there. If you can clean just like this girl does, take your cleaning equipment. Go from place to place. Advertise your services. Clean their houses. Get your money. If you have a very comfortable house and you think you can babysit, look after people's children while they're at school or they're at work, do it. Take care of it. Even if it's starting from at least a child or two, start from there. Take care of children. Get paid for your services. If you can cook, there are a lot of people who don't actually have the time to cook. Do you know that? You can start by cooking, doing your catering services, put them online, advertise your stuff, and people come around and ask for your services. You can actually cook for them. You deliver it or they come and pick it. If you're very good in baking, that's the same thing as cooking. Get your stuff done. People have birthday parties from time to time. 
if you're very good in decorating event centers start be and start an event planning whatever um business you can be an event planner if you need a little coach on that these days things are made very easy you do not have to like kind of be in a physical class for everything you need to learn you can learn all these things over the internet if you're very good in hair making start from there make people's hair you can be very surprised how much you can get in a week sometimes you know that people that have handcrafts are very good in handcrafts and all these things do you know that they're actually more paid than those that go and sit in the offices in the, in the name of nine to five jobs so make use of that skill you have everybody has one or two things that they're very good at if you are very good in talking speak say you know give those motivational speeches and all that people want to hear some people get paid just to talk just to you know convince them about something some people get paid just to encourage people to motivate people you know to 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 to, to win souls through the, your voice through you know how creative you are in speaking think of something everybody has something that they have in there that they're not even making use of think of it so you can't tell me that you are broke or you're struggling financially and I see you have two legs and two hands complete and there's everything about you is perfect and you are complaining. You have no reason, my dear. Secondly, try as much as possible to save, no matter how little. Now, I always follow a particular rule in my life and that has worked. I try as much as possible to save 10%, at least 10% of any income that comes into my hands. When I mean 10%, I mean it must not be less than 10%. No matter what I want to take away from that money, it mustn't be less than 10%. If I have more than that to save, to, you know, to, to put out more than the 10%, yeah, I'll gladly bring it out. But at least I mustn't save anything less than 10%. Try as much as possible to form that habit. To be very honest with you, saving is not easy. It's not easy. Because sometimes when you want to save, there's this thing that comes in your head and tells you, ah, you're saving. Don't forget you have other bills to pay. Don't forget you have one thing to buy, to buy there. Don't forget you're owing somebody. Don't forget you have to bring out money for something. They, they, just, they just start coming out, coming out. And before you know it, you find that you've already spent all your money even without bringing out a dime, without saving anything. So try as much as possible to form that habit of savings. Try as much as possible to bring out something, no matter how little. Each time you get an income, each time you get money, each time you get paid, each time you get anything, just try as much as possible because it's very good for the rainy days. There are times that you will experience very hard situations. You experience very, you know, serious hardships and then you don't have anything to fall back on or nobody to fall back on. But when you remember that you have a little savings there, you go and tap into it. Number three, invest, invest, invest invests see if there is nothing else i have learned in in like in, in the short time of my life or rather in my growing up days is to invest when i was much younger when i was in my 20s honestly i didn't know what it was to invest my own idea of um enjoyment was just spend as it comes like each time money comes into my hand i just spend it each time money comes in fact even before it comes i've already spent it i've already i already have the picture of this clothes i want to buy or this place i want to go to or something i want to do with money and once the money comes into my hand it's gone just the way it came because i never i i didn't have that culture of investing but it's very good to invest nowadays everything to me is a business opportunity everything to me is a business opportunity because I like money i'm sorry i like money so much that whenever i see something i just try as much as possible to think of the business side of that thing like i try as much as possible to say what can i do with this thing to make me money what can i do about this thing to you know no matter how little that changes i just want to transform it into something and and make money out of it so try as much as possible to invest no matter how little now when i mean invest i'm not saying take up that big project and start investing no start little if you know you are the kind of person that likes how to you know knows how to do makeup and beauty and all that you know if you have a little cash invest it in some cosmetics makeup stuffs you know your powder foundation and all that start start it start doing people's faces for birthday parties and all that that investment of yours is definitely going to bring in very huge return at the end of the day because not everybody knows how to make up like 
I, for one, this is the best I can do. I don't know how to do more than this. But if I have a very important occasion and I need my face, you know, full face and perfect look and all that, I could get someone who can actually do it for me. And I pay the person. That person has made money from me. So invest, invest, invest in every little thing. Now, there are lots of business opportunities out there people can actually invest in. There are lots of trending ones. Is it the Forex? Is it the stock exchange market? Is it the cryptocurrency? Whatever it is you think you can actually invest wisely in and comfortably try it. Now, the next one is choose your needs over your wants. Now, this, uh, this is a point where a lot of us lose it. We, 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 we just go for unnecessary things. We spend our money, we waste our money for things that are not necessary that you, that you really don't want it. Now, we're all guilty of this thing. Even I am. Sometimes I walk into a shop and I, you know, sometimes I try as much as possible to make, to, to be self-disciplined, to be disciplined about my spending. So before I walk into any shop, I try so much to write a list. I write a list of all I want and I take exactly the amount of money that is going to buy me those things so that when I get there, I don't buy what I didn't write in my list. But sometimes this, I don't know where it comes from. You just want to just see something else by the side and you want to take it or you're like, let me just take this one. And then when you get to the counter and it's time to pay, you discover that, oh, your money is not enough. That thing, that extra thing I picked, I put it back. So it has always worked for me. It just kind of makes me disciplined on how I spend money. Stop buying those unnecessary things you do not need. Those things that are not important. If you know they are not really useful, there is no point spending money on them. Buy what you want. Invest in what you want. Take those things from the shops that are important to you, that have utmost importance. Don't just buy things because, oh, they're in vogue or people are using them or because they're beautiful or because, oh, the money is now available, so let me just buy it. No, that's money that you would have used to buy it. could buy you some other more important things or you could as well save it. Thank you. And then the last one is stop impressing people. A lot of fools are actually broke because we're trying to leave other people's kind of lifestyle because you're trying to make them feel that oh you know what if i don't drive the latest car then that means i am not there if i don't have the latest clothes or if i don't look good or if i don't do this or if i don't dress like this or if i don't buy this if i don't spend this or if i don't shop in a particular place then that means i am not i don't belong like who cares as far as i'm concerned i have nobody whatsoever to impress because i've discovered that when you impress them when the, the, the going is good when things are okay for you what happens when you don't have money anymore what happens when you're financially down who are you going to impress or who's going to try to impress you by giving you money you think anybody's going to say okay let me impress you've been impressing us for many years now you're broke let me impress you take some money no they will only hang out with those people that are still impressing them so it's just this circle of impressing 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 and when you're no longer capable of impressing them financially that is when it's dawn on you that you're on your own so stop impressing people live exactly within your means don't try to do what you're not supposed to do or don't go overboard in your spending because that's the only way you can actually maintain your savings culture so thank you very much for watching this video i hope i have made sense to you and i hope you will see the reason why you should save you should invest you should take care you should be financially disciplined thank you very much